Imagine what it would be like to discover a planet. Well, a group of high school students just discovered four. Let's find out more. Lying 210 light years away in the constellation of Centaurus, we find the star, which doesn't seem to have a proper name, just the designation HD 108236. This is a G-type star, the same spectral class that our own sun belongs to, and this star has about 87% the mass and radius of our sun, and is 70% as bright. The surface temperatures also seem to be very similar, although this star does appear to be a little bit older, at about 6.7 billion years. This star has a planetary system consisting of five planets. Four of these planets were recently discovered by a group of researchers which included high school students, but more about that in a little bit. Firstly, let's take a look at the planets. This is another very compact star system, with the outermost planet orbiting at a distance of less than half of our own planet Mercury, which is the closest planet to our Sun. And this is where we'll start. The furthest out planet, HD 108236F, was actually discovered by a different group of researchers even more recently, just January 2021. It lies just 26.4 million kilometres from the star, and orbits its sun in just 29 and a half days. This planet is a little over twice the radius and about four times the mass of the Earth. This is maybe a rocky planet or it could be a sub-Neptune. NASA's own exoplanet website has the planet listed as a rocky super-Earth, so I'm going to go with that. The remaining four planets in this star system were the ones discovered by the team that includes high school students Jasmine Wright and Kartik Pingle. So next on in our journey towards the star, we come across HD 108236E. This orbits the star at a distance of just 21 million kilometres, or 0.14 astronomical units, and it completes one orbit of the star in a period of just 19.6 Earth days. This planet has a radius of 3.12 times that of the Earth, or nearly the same radius as the planet Neptune in our solar system. It's got a mass of 8.4 times the Earth, and it's thought that this planet has a composition similar to that of the planet Neptune, in other words, it's a gas giant. Let us move on and travel to our next destination. HD 108236D orbits its star in just 14 days and 4 hours. It's found orbiting at a distance from the star of nearly 17 million kilometres. Just putting that into context, that's just 11% of the distance of the Earth to the Sun. This is another sub-Neptune. It's 2.7 times the radius of the Earth and has 7.8 times our planet's mass. This then makes it 70% of the size of the planet Neptune in our solar system, so it's another gas giant-like planet. We must travel even further in towards the star to find our next planet, and this one is HD 108236C. And again, this is another sub-Neptune gas giant. It's got 2.07 times the radius of the Earth, but a whopping nine times its mass. This puts it at just over half the radius of the planet Neptune, and as we've already seen, it's a very massive planet. This one orbits a star at a distance of just nine and three quarter million kilometers, whipping round it in a time of just 6.2 Earth days. But even this planet isn't the closest. For that, we've got to come even further in towards our star. The innermost planet is HD 108236b, and this lies just 7 million kilometres from the star. It's got an orbital period of a mere 3 days, 19 hours. Unlike the other three planets discovered by this team, this one is most likely a hot, rocky super-Earth. It's got a radius 1.59 times that of the Earth, and a mass of 4.2 times as great. This isn't a pleasant place though, with temperatures estimated to be above 800 degrees Celsius. I want to pay this place a very brief visit though, just to look at the star. From the radiation blasted surface, our star would cover 10 degrees of arc. That's 20 times bigger than our sun looks from here on Earth. At this temperature, 
some of the rock that makes up the surface may well be molten. So let's not spend too long here. Even as protected as we are, this is an unfriendly place. So back to the discovery of these interesting worlds. The high school students Jasmine Wright and Kartik Pingley were part of a student research mentoring program which pairs up school students with researchers in their chosen field at Harvard and MIT. And this led to the students being involved in some real life research and ultimately to them producing a peer reviewed research paper published in the Astronomical Journal. Wow, what it must feel like to discover a planet. Anyway, our trip to HD 108236 must come to an end and so let's get back aboard our space and time machine for the journey back home. And until we go off on our travels again, it's time for me to congratulate these students on their achievement and on adding to the sum total of human knowledge. And until next time, thank you for watching. All of the five planets are rocky sub-Earths, with sizes that are all bigger than the planet Mercury, but smaller than our planet. Let's have a closer look at these planets, shall we?